يعني والله شيء انه الواحد يخاف يلاقي واحد العاقل انه هالناس اللي قاعده في الجامعه ما راح يقدرون ترى شوف اللي بنلغى يكون في هذه البلد هذه احنا فقط على الاقل Have you read Daring to Drive by Manal Al Sharif? Yes, I have. What are your feelings toward Manal? I think that she's really courageous. Um, to be able to take a stand um, and put your fears aside for the future of women is really inspiring. Would you suggest the book to others? Yes, I would. But specifically, people who I feel need to be inspired. The novel inspires me to do whatever I can to better my child's life. I have two sons. They have never met face to face, never tickled, giggled, wrestled on the floor, thrown a ball, or played a prank or peekaboo. They have t-shirts that say big brother and little brother. They know each other's nicknames and that they have similar eyes. They know that they share the same mom, and I know that the only way I can wrap my arms around one is to leave the other. In May 2011, I drove a car on Saudi roads with my brother beside me and my sister-in-law, her baby, and my son, Abudi, in the back seat. In Saudi Arabia, women are forbidden to drive. I had driven with the hope of freeing women in Saudi society, and by freeing women, I also hoped to free men. I had driven so that Abudi might know a better life. I had two major motivations. The first was an overwhelming desire to lift my family out of poverty and improve our social standing. The second was my mother, who carried a deeply held conviction that education, academic success, and an independent career should be the entire focus of her life. The, she single-handedly made education a household priority. The inspiration for me to go to college was to provide, to be able to provide for my child as my parents did for me.